What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero Wars Central. Happy Tuesday, everybody. It is November 23rd, 2021. And I'm just happy to be alive. I'm just happy to be alive. How about you? How about you? Let's take a look at who has graced us with their presence. I want to thank everybody for being here that is here now. And uh, those of you that are watching the replay in the future, thank you so much for spending an hour or, or, or two minutes or however long you watch uh, hanging out with us today. Uh, Tanya, what's up? Denny, welcome back. Raging Turnip, Limbicago, Richard Cochran, Aloha, Sir. D. Warman, rocking the ones and twos. Uh, Darren, welcome back to the live stream. This uh, intermittent fasting is a situation and it is becoming difficult. <clears throat> there is a, there's a window. There's a window with intermittent fasting that sucks. When you, when you first start out, it is no fun and it's difficult to make it later and later and later into the day until you get to your feeding window. And those of you that are interested in intermittent fasting, I'm not a uh, nutritionist or a fitness I'm not licensed in any of that so for purely entertainment purposes only um, I do I do intermittent fasting I don't know if it's right for you but it does work well for me go google it it's kind of kind of fun Gia says I'm gonna leave thanks for stopping by hope you enjoyed the content sad no sir discount let's get into the topic of the hour the boycott. Now, there's no boycott. Let's get this out of the way. There's no boycott. Nobody's talking about a boycott. At least not, you know, the 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 vocal minority that you typically think of whenever you think of a boycott. Nobody's really talking about that. But there are some things in place that may lead to a boycott. The... Cyber Week, Chaba Week. We're going to call it Chaba Week, by the way. We're going to call it Chaba Week. Uh, the Chaba Week Emerald Discount is going live in, what, like eight hours on Hero Wars Mobile? On like, uh, uh, yeah, like like 8 p.m. Central Time, 2 a.m. UTC. That's that's when it's supposed to go live, right? Uh, you have the Chaba, the Chaba Rework, which is live right now, by the way. Chaba Rework is live right now. You have the three separate events you have the seven day when worlds collide Chaba events. Uh, you have the two, uh, the, uh, the, the two task event that asks you to make purchases and to log in every day. That's going to be a seven day event as well, I believe. And then you have the three day Chaba basic soul stone event. Um, the discounts were data mined late, late, late last night, early, early, early this morning. Load runner gave us the list of events the schedule of events, the calendar uh, of, of events, uh, the calendar of discounts, I should say, for the Hero Wars mobile version of the game. And lo and behold, Titan artifacts are not on them. Titan artifacts being the big money blue balls, the blue spheres, right? And again, we're talking about Hero Wars mobile. Now, uh, likely, this was planned. Likely, this was intentional. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Who knows? Who can say for sure? I, I am disappointed on the Facebook and website of things that the the new Astral Seer does not have any sort of discount. Or maybe it will and it just isn't live yet. I'm not sure if the sales, the Emerald discounts on Facebook and web are rotating like the sales do on mobile. I guess we'll find out as the week goes on. But last year, last year there was a slight bit of feedback because of the hero artifact chests, right? Am I, am I, uh, am I misremembering? I feel like that there was, maybe there was a, there was a Titan artifact chest discount, but it was not 55%. So there was a bunch of tickets that were submitted and they, and they decided to make it 55%. Uh, I don't know if they if they came out and said, oh, we changed it, or if they just made it that way whenever the event actually went live. But I think what happened was Load Runner data mined the information last year at 35% or 25% or something. 
and then they got a bunch of submitted tickets. People upset that the discount wasn't as big as the other ones, and then they uh, they changed it. All right. So I think a lot of people were under the assumption that the big money blue balls, the Titan artifact spheres, the blue ones, were going to be discounted for Black Friday. I think people have been planning on it. I think people have been saving up all summer, even, right? The Titan Artifacts were added to Hero Wars Mobile back in April, and there has been two Titan Artifact events, right? Two Titan Artifact events, and, uh, you know, they were they were okay. They were pretty good. You know, they they, they, they were what they were. I, I know I mentioned in yesterday's live stream that it made me sad, and, you know, I, that was the wrong thing to say. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, but if they don't do a Titan Artifact Sphere discount. I'm curious what'll happen. Black Friday sucks. So the answer was to drop the 20%. Um, I don't know. Um, Finkelzo says, they have no real reason to discount the new stuff that people are willing to spend full price on, except of course, for enough pressure. I agree. I agree. So I'm curious what your all's feedback. I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying that there is a, for sure, another boycott. But I am, what I, what I am saying is that we have precedence for them changing things like this in the past. And if they don't change it this time, what's going to happen? Like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I personally do not care, right? I'm never going to max out my Titan artifacts. Like, it'll be years, I'm not in a rush. Not in a rush at all. I'm not gonna boycott. I wouldn't, I would never, you know, doesn't make any sense for me to. But if you do boycott, I'll have more content. <laughs> uh, the new skins are the, the positive perk on web. Yep, they're nice. They're nice. Uh, that's what I thought, was curious since he said it was going on now. Uh, Charlie Spidey senses tingling on what he is saying. Yeah. Cry a lot? Yeah, Rohan, exactly, exactly. I want to know when three new Devil Skins, which is Kiramaya and Pepe, come to mobile. Want two of them? Mm -hmm. Hope the Black Friday will not suck on mobile. My disappointment is that during previous events, they actually gave us free emeralds. Are they not free this year? Whenever you log in? Unsubscribe the YouTube channel? <laughs> What's up, Hyro? I'm going to level up Chaba instead of spinning on Titan Blue Balls. Ooh, Michael, okay. Okay. There's some interest in uh, in the new Chaba. We'll talk about that a little bit. We'll talk about that a little bit. Missed a whole bunch, I guess. Bambi. Um, quick recap for Bambi, since you're such an important member of my community. Uh, there's no boycott. There, there yet. There is no boycott. Uh, there might be if if they decide to not discount the Titan Artifact Spheres. I think people are upset about it. I think people are very upset. I don't know that they're if they're rightly upset, but you know. People are so easily offended nowadays, um, and this kind of this kind of segs into the second topic that I want to discuss today. Kind of seg segues. I should stop saying segs for short. That could be uh, misconstrued. That kind of segues into the next topic that I wanted to talk about, and that was the. Do you guys remember the influencer group? Bambi was actually a, a an integral part of the influencer group. It happened what back in June, June ish. May-ish. Hero Wars Mobile got together 10 influencers, content creators, whatever. I, I'm not, I don't consider myself an influencer. I consider myself more of a content creator. Uh, that's semantics, though. Got, got us together. We put together a list of things. We shared them with Alina, right? The community manager, who we were liaisoning. Li liaising? Li li leasing? <laughs> what is that word? Liaisoning? I don't know. With and... It was brought to my attention today that we never actually got a response to our list. The boycott demands got a response. But ours did not. Ours did not. So now I'm boycotting influencer groups. No, I'm not going to do that. Do you think four times emeralds will come this week? Uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit later, Osha. Absolutely. What's up, Vance? Ristral, it wouldn't bother me if they didn't give the discount. The discount will happen probably next year. If it doesn't happen this year, it'll happen next year. And guys, by the way, this isn't the only time in the year that they offer discounts like this. I, I believe that, like, isn't there like a spring sale every year? 
Isn't there like a spring 55% discount sale every year as well? Am I am I misremembering that also? I know that there is another 55% discount for a lot of these chests. Christmas in July? I don't know. Where can I get free emeralds for Hero Wars? Um, the only way to do that is, is by uh, logging in every day, playing your arena matches, promoting your heroes, color rank, doing tasks for the emerald rewards on Hero Wars Mobile. On weekends, there should be tournaments where you can face others and earn resources. Yes, there. I mean, they have those tournaments every day. Every day. It was the anniversary. Okay. Devs should put more focus on that boycott and flirts of content creator list before global championships roll out. That is that is the big issue, guys, is, is this big thing that they're rolling out. The perception among some of you, and not, I don't share this perception personally. Let's just be very clear with this. I understand that this is a business and they have to devote resources, a literal finite list of resources to specific things. I have... I have harped on from the beginning that bug fixes and quality of life improvements are are more important than everything else. But I, I I know I know that this is a business and they're going to focus on things that drive revenue, right? They're gonna focus on things that drive revenue. So there's a lot of concern that things are not gonna be resolved before the global championships go live. Uh, I, I, I know that yesterday I published a feedback video on my channel asking for help about when they should launch global championships. And uh, Kyle Killshot over on the unofficial Hero Wars mobile discord, the largest Hero Wars mobile discord, uh, he posed a similar question, poll, whatever, to his community. And that was a shit show. <laughs> Forgive my cussing, but that was... And it was only like two or three people that were causing all kinds of issues in that little chat. He ended up having to shut the chat down. That's how bad it got. So there, I know that there is unrest. But I also know that no matter what anybody does, 100% of the people won't, ha won't be happy. 100% of the people will not be happy. So global championships are coming. They'll resolve issues just on, you know, how on their timeline. They have a, a roadmap for solving bugs and introducing new content, including new skins. Hero Wars Mobile is lacking six to nine skins now, right? That Facebook and web have. They have roadmaps for everything and they're gonna do it. And uh, in six months, we won't talk about it again until it comes up again. <laughs> Facebook artifacts are discounted by 20%, but if you're going for the guaranteed totem from Emerald Spin, you have to still spend Emerald's True. You get more spheres. Yep. 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 Uh, Monta, I missed what you said. What guild raid bug? Guild raid bug. I don't know anything about a guild raid bug. Emiliano, hit me up on Discord after the fact with some uh, with some video and we'll, we'll talk about it. I'll submit it. I'll submit it. Mazamune says free to play from here on. Ristol, that's usually how it works. Is Amira Facebook or mobile? We'll, call, we'll talk about that in just a second. We're going to get to it. Wait, the new hero Amira won't be till January. Amira, are the devs using Arabic names to make more Arabic players to play? All right, let's talk about let's talk about Amira, I guess. Let's move on from the boycott. Sorry, Rohan. It is not clickbait. But I can understand why you would think that. I think I might actually change... Like, hold on, I'm gonna toggle my scenes. I'm not quitting, I'm still here, guys. I think I might change that scene, the, the about to start scene. I think I might add a thing in there that you can you can get timestamps for everything in the description. I, I, I pay double O for great work every day. He puts those timestamps in the description every day, and I don't know that they're being utilized. So I probably should do that. That's actually, Thank you, Charlie, for coming up with that idea. So anyway, on to Amira. Uh, yesterday, and I completely forgot to mention this yesterday, but yesterday, the new hero, Amira, was teased a little bit. We know what she looks like, the silhouette of, of her, right? Uh, appears to be some sort of djinn or genie. I'm not sure the proper uh, title for her, but she is coming to Hero Wars Mobile, presumably during the Winter Fest event. And she's also going to be sharing the event with Satori. So it's going to be some kind of potentially Arabic themed event for Hero Wars Mobile Winterfest. Now that's literally all the information that we have. We don't have 
main stat. We don't have artifact weapon. We don't have glyphs. We don't have skills. We don't have, you know, position. We don't have role. We don't have anything. We don't have the tribe. There wasn't even tease the tribe, right? Daniel spent like 12 seconds talking about it. Amira in Arabic means princess or the daughter of the queen. Okay, okay. Come, let's go the other way. I actually have no ability to help you in that instance. I would submit a ticket. Bottom right hand corner, click get help. I always thought of saying the same thing. Timestamp for each topic, a must. Hmm? What does Satori have to do with... Er uh, no idea. No idea. What does Chaba have to do with the you know galactic sales? I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Ziri, Amira, Satori, Elmir could be a team. Could be. Could be. Could be. Somebody was talking about it. Um... Yasmin probably would be good in that team also, right? She's in a an Arabic assassin. Maybe Zeeshaw for Facebook. We'll see. Corvus Morgan, Arachne Phobos. What kind of character would be the other one? Uh, the simple thing. Are you on Facebook or mobile? Why January, not December among Winterfest? Uh, who's saying that Amira's coming in January? Did somebody say something that uh, that Amira was coming in January? Not, not, uh, not December? I could have missed it. I could have missed it completely. <clears throat> when each of your heroes has such disparate backstories, grouping them gets harder and harder. If they even spent time on their backstories, Guardian. Disappointing that they don't have more lore in this game. Ugh. I would love to have more stories. Wally said that. <clears throat> okay, so... I. I believe that the new hero is coming for the, the Winterfest event, whatever they end up calling the Winterfest event. Um, in Discord, uh, among Hero Wars news. What? New hero for winter. Um... Check in Discord. Check in uh, Loadrunner's notes for this event. Three events tomorrow. Self count so you have hundred heroes can't come here. Um Yeah, Loadrunner just says Satori and Amira New Year event on map coins. Yeah, so so the New Year event, you know, Winterfest is what he's referring to. League of Legends is tons upon tons of lore and hardly no one really cares. Guys, let's let's actually take a hot second. The the show Arcane on Netflix is really good. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying that show. I'm enjoying it way more than I thought I would. I want I want to be in that world. Like, in a way that I, I didn't think that I really wanted to be. Like, I want I want to know more about what's happening there. I've got one episode left, two episodes left, I think. One of the main characters is absolutely Ginger and or Daredevil, though. Unfortunately, it's it's a blatant ripoff by Nexters. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, yeah. Good show. I would recommend it. It's got nine episodes. They're like 40 minutes long each. Arcane is what 10 years of lore should have been. Such a good show. Such a good show. Oh, man. I want to be... I want to live in that world. <clears throat> okay. So, Amira is a new hero. We don't really know much about that. Satori event. We'll see. Tribe? Who knows? <laughs> you must like League of Legends. Uh, Andy, I don't play League of, League of Legends at all. I've never played League of Legends. Never played it. Never played it. Um, let's do Guild War real quick, and then we'll. Uh, looks like we haven't we haven't crossed the bridge yet, man. This guild. Uh, oh, I can't do any of my Guild Wars. Okay, we're not doing Guild Wars yet. <laughs> let's talk about CyberCon on Facebook and web. Let's talk about feedback from this event. And Guardian, I'm glad you're here because you gave me a comment that I feel sums up the experience for the Facebook and web event uh, pretty well from what a lot of you are saying. 
Um, let's see. Um, this event is mostly free to play friendly, but the rewards are targeted so much to older accounts it is almost useless to the accounts and players that would need a mostly free to play event. This event is more or less just a cyber con, like con, yeah, con. <laughs> Unprecedented deals. I don't know if the marketing department even knows the words they use. Many of these discounts were surpassed during the birthday event or even the Blackbeard's legacy event. And I got to agree. The, the tasks on this event, CyberCon, Hero Wars, Facebook and Web, are, are pretty easy, right? I, don't, I didn't go over these whenever I made the video. Um, was it last night I made the video? It's all kind of running together. Log in, easy peasy. Reach VIP, it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna get a lot of chips for that. Make purchases, you know, it is what it is. Buy emeralds. I don't think anybody should buy emeralds right now. We may get a times four emerald sale this weekend. I would bet that we will get a times four emerald sale this weekend. So anybody on Facebook and web, do not buy emeralds. All right, don't buy them. You have spin emeralds, all right? Spend energy. 4,000 energy is super easy to spend. Super easy to spend that. In fact, I'll probably spend, you know, half that today uh, just on this one account alone. Open chests in the tower, 120. Uh, and then starting or joining seven adventures. Incredibly easy event to complete. Incredibly easy. What about the Facebook event starting three hours later? How's that going to affect your Thursday live streams? No idea. I have no idea. I have no idea how that's going to work, Raging Turnip. But yeah, what happened there? What happened there? Uh, similar, I have a remark from Guardian06. Um, Guardian06, why is your why is your Discord name Guardian206, but your YouTube name is Guardian06? I've been meaning to ask you that. Let's let's go ahead and get that question out of the way. <laughs> Plus three hours to the start time of the, uh, of the live stream, even though developers are surprised. They changed how the date was data mined, uh, determined. So the, it will take the devs reverting their change to bring it back, but that would require them realizing why it happened and then basically admitting the f they uh, they screwed up in the change to begin with. There was an unexpected change. This is this is the community manager official statement. Hi guys, there was an unexpected change for all of us. From now on, all the usual Facebook events will start and end at 5 a.m. UTC, not 2 a.m. UTC. This is due to the specifics of the Facebook platform. What? Why? I don't understand that. We didn't know that, and we fixed that in the Facebook post already. Black Friday is the first event with this updated upload schedule. All other platforms will stay on this 2 a.m. start and schedule. This is wild, guys. This is so wild. So now, <laughs> now, now we're not going to be able to get access to the Facebook and web events until later on. Now, we'll, we can still talk about the events. The My, my Thursday live stream will happen at the same time every week, uh, 7 p.m. Central Time, 7.30, excuse me, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, we'll just have to play on web instead of Facebook. We won't really be able to do much of the event because I don't have much going on over there. Um, I don't really have a whole lot going on over on the web side of things. I don't really play those accounts anymore. Um, I'd much rather play the event on here, but for the most part now, we can't double dip anymore. Unless we want to stay up until like midnight. We can no longer... Well, wait, it's 10 o'clock, right? 5 a.m.? No, it's 11 o'clock. 5 a.m. is 11 p.m. So you can't really double dip anymore unless you stay up really late. Later on... Uh, thank you, Guardian. Uh, later on, Community Manager Andrew also stated... Sorry... I was not clear. This was an unexpected change to the CM's team, not to the whole Hero Wars development team. That's true. Apparently, we have some communication issues. We are looking for ways to fix it so we can provide you reliable information and warn you about things like that beforehand. And then there's a whole whole conversation. There's actually several points that, that Andrew mentions. I should have stated some things more clearly and shouldn't have speculated about things I don't know. As uh, Richard pointed out, don't know yet about web changes. So far, we've confirmed the change for Facebook. So I don't know. I don't know. As far as my schedule is concerned, it's easy fix. We'll just play on the web version of the game. But as far as content creation in general, I you know I it'll force me to play the event 
the next day instead, right? I'm on the YouTube account first, and then I forgot if I made the Discord account and forgot the password or it was already taken, and I really don't like to change the screen. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so between that situation, the event starting three hours late, the discounts not being 55%, And the change to the rewards in the Cyber Vault. This this event is, is being viewed relatively negatively. Um, most people that I've talked to today are not happy with this event. It's free stuff. It is what it is. It's free stuff. Just play the game. Get your free stuff. Be happy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we were expecting. Maybe it's my fault for publishing the what to expect video. Uh, I thought it was very clear about, we didn't know some of the specifics. <laughs> some people are not happy that the Eternal Seed is, is here and that it's only one Eternal Seed. Some people are unhappy that the, the Artifact Seal Chest is only 15. But the way I see it is, is this week I'll be able to get, you know, up to 10 more Eternal Seeds. I'll be able to get, you know, a bunch of Artifact Seal Chests. Chaos Particles, I mean, it's, it's free stuff. Um, uh, Raging Turnip helping out the community. Thank you so much. Sabrina says, Elmer has the most cool looking skins in the entire game. It does seem like they spend a lot of time on his art. A little bit more time than other heroes. Charlie, did you see that Lord Runner stated in the leaks that the grand prize included 80 artifact seals, but in reality it was just 15? Yeah, yeah, I actually shared that. I shared that image with in my video two days ago or whatever it was that it was uh, that it was 80 overall underwhelming for a seven day event uh, but we do know that the big event that we all should be saving for especially now especially now that we see that the discounts are so slight now the pet summoning eggs it is what it is uh, you know artifact chests yeah we need them like, we shouldn't be spending much emeralds on any of these. In my opinion, the Outland Chests are, are, are more important to spend emeralds on. The Astral Seer, probably a little bit more important right now. The Titan Artifacts are great, but you're not getting the advantage. I don't know. Time will tell, but I don't see the Eternal Seed being a bottleneck for Ascension. I'd personally rather see the Hero Chest to help with Hero, Soulstone tasks, and big events. I can see that too. I can see that too. Uh, Dev shouldn't have replaced the Lesser Hero Soulstone Chest for the Eternal Seed. I've been seeing this comment a lot. I've been seeing this comment more than anything else. People are feeling some kind of way about this one Eternal Seed. People believe that the Hero Soulstone Chest is a much better value. Well, check that out. I just got two of the three, so I'm going to refresh. Yeah, that's fine. Happily refresh. Get the corners. Boop. 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 Got the Eternal Seed. Oh, got the cool avatar. Nice. Artifact chests. Give me those chaos particles. Nice. And I think universally... We're right. I think we're justified. I think we're... You know, we're allowed to complain. Bam. Got a bunch right there already. Cyber a reward. One turtle seed. Three super titan chests, really. I have the event in the not Facebook. Hey, Charles. Is the team good? Um, interesting you guys talking about boycott. The point is nexters don't care. Uh, I quit the game to do that. If you quit the game, I mean, I appreciate you hanging out, Alan. Lucky? I agree. Very lucky very lucky so big shout out to guardian 06 slash guardian 206 for sharing with me those uh those chats from community manager andrew who continues to not spend a lot of time responding to my questions to him i'm not really sure who else to talk to on the facebook side of things but that's a combination a combination a conversation for another day now, continuing on with the discussion about Cyber Week, the Facebook and Web Black Friday whatever event, uh, we do have this task right here, right? To buy emeralds. 
And I know that some of you are interested in doing this. I know that some of you buy emeralds every month. I think that golden, golden. I think that the emerald sale, emerald, uh, the times four emerald sale is going to go live Thursday night, Friday morning. I think that it will. I think that it will. I think that we're going to have the times four emerald sale this weekend. The timing, if I look at the calendar, I mean, we haven't had one yet this month, have we? As, as far as I know, we haven't had one. So this is the, uh, this is the last, this is the last Thursday of the month, which makes me think that it's coming. It makes me think that times four emerald sale is this weekend. I hope I'm right. I'm going to buy some emeralds. Charlie, in which Discord channel can I have a Hero Wars clip? This is really something that you don't see every day. The diminished, I mean, you can you can private message me. There's a content creator channel on in my in my Discord if you'd like. Door Miles got the Cyber Kitty avatar. <laughs> Charlie, give something for vericular account of Hero Wars with for veric. I don't know what that. I don't know what you're asking there, my friend. Should be times four. Yeah, I think so too. So guys, be mindful of that. Plan for a times four emerald sale this weekend, and uh, if it doesn't happen, then uh, you won't be disappointed. You won't be disappointed. I I, I want to shift gears and talk about more Hero Wars mobile news. Um, so we're gonna go back to Hero Wars mobile for a little bit. Do you guys are you guys familiar with the the test servers, the T1 through T8 servers that they introduced a little while ago? Um, it seems like. It seems like that they are being finally migrated to the Russian side of the uh, of the um, ecosystem region. I, I don't know what you're. I don't know what you want to call it. So the 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 test servers. They've been testing lots of different things. I, and there was eight, I think. There might have been sixteen actually. Um, they were listed as T one through eight, T one through sixteen, something. I can't remember what they're what they were specifically, uh, how many there were, what they were specifically labeled. But they were used to test the cost of packages. They were used to test currencies. They were used to test uh, some different skills. They used it for a little bit of, of um, some of the skills were different on that server than they were on the, on the main servers. I think, I think the modifiers were, were slightly different, but they were all changed and they will be changed back to me to be in line with the uh, with the Russian servers. So they're going to be transferred to the Russian servers. They're planning on having it done before the global championships go into effect. Because how unfun, how unfair would it be? These test players, these players that join these test servers had no say in joining the test server. They had to join that server because that's what they were defaulted into. And they can't move from the test servers, right? So they could have left and started a new account. Uh, but most of them didn't realize that they were in a test server until it was way too late. Which I do feel come some kind of way about. That they couldn't move, they couldn't do anything about it. I do feel some kind of way about it. However, hopefully before January 3rd, they will be moved over to the Russian. They'll be able to compete. If they can't compete, that would be really unfortunate. Because they'll, be, they'll end up being a month behind everybody else in the Global Championship. I thought that I'd give that a little bit of information out for you guys. Um, see you, Ron. My only problem is the skins are not a sale at all. A price we pay if the skin's 14. Yeah, Ryan, this isn't a skin sale. It's just a skin introduction. They're not actually on sale. Skins are easier to upgrade on web than on mobile due to the number of skin stones you receive. Mm -hmm. What's up, Dan Elliott? Dwayne Blue says Russian servers let you reach the same power level for half the price. It's actually not true. It's not the same power level because they're two completely different games. Russian servers and world servers will never cross paths. So it's not actually the same power level. They, they don't really transfer like that. And if it makes you feel any better, the uh, the competition on the world servers are much higher, from what I understand, than the Russian servers. Yeah. I also feel bad for those people in the test servers. Maybe give them some gift for being on a test server. They might have already gotten that gift. I, I don't know what the, the process is that that, you know, that that's going to happen if they're going to be given, a, you know, like a three digit, like a 500 and something, you know, server designation. I guess we'll see if any of you are in the test servers, man, I would love it if somebody would clear this bridge. I would love it. <clears throat> guess we'll just go about our day. 
Guild raid. Fight to boss starts. Uh, let's switch out. Might as well keep Kark in there. Hmm. Manta, there is a way to play. Oh, wow. There is a way to play on the Russian servers. Holy crap. <laughs> I knew this guy was going to be tough. I didn't think it was going to be this tough. Holy cow. I got crushed, man. My Martha just got dropped. This guy's tough. Bummer. Huh. Well, it is what it is. That thing only does arm day. <laughs> Charlie, real quick, can you give me your advice on Corvus Morgan, Yasmin, Sebastian, and Celeste and the patronage you would assign to them? Um, not real quick. No, I can't. Um, well, I got some time, I guess. This is this is going to be easy to easy to finish. Uh, I mean, it really, Dockerton, it really depends on who you're going up against. Honestly, I'd put, I, I mean, you could put Merlin or Axel on Celeste. You could put Albus or Fenris on Sebastian. You could put Albus or Fenris or Kane on Yasmin. Corvus, I'd probably put Oliver. That's why I noticed about this boss. He attacks the back line. Yeah, he attacks the back line. Marthy should be the should be able to handle those hits. What's the dealio? <laughs> Are we gonna have Z Shot in the browser version of the game? I think so eventually. I think that we I think that we have enough information about the pet events and that the fact that there we, there has been mul mentioned multiple times that there's going to be more to the pet event story, the Great Storm story. I think that we'll definitely get some kind of some kind of interaction with Zisha in the future. I don't know that she'll end up being a, a hero or if it ends up being another boss here in the uh, uh, in the guild raids. Which is which is a possibility. I think that we may end up fighting uh, fighting Zisha and her little tentacle monsters and all of that. Santiago, thanks so much for stopping by. Hmm. I'm surprised. I got clapped, guys. Oh, there's a there's a Jinx <laughs> with red hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. This game. This game, man. Um, let's see. Let's leave this thing in there. It would be another way for them to easily siphon emeralds from us, though, although this would make mana gathering easier. Charlie, give something for... Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking for there, Jaro. Just make it a bigger, scarier evil for the pet events, and then we can get a new hero. Mm. Skip. Um, friendship chips. Outland. We're gonna open some chests in Outland. What's up, Abdul Kadir? Abdul Kadir. There will be a new hero during the next year. Uh, yeah, yeah. Psycho. There's, there's uh, roughly four heroes added every year. Roughly four. Guys, I'm so hungry. Like I am so hungry. I'm happy that they added TA to the game. It made me stop from investing. I realized the best thing in this game are for free. Community and lack of content, which helps me do dailies in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, hey, Charlie, do you like the new Cyber Avatar? I think the artwork is pretty cool on him, but I'm not really a huge fan of the avatars. All right, this is why we can't have nice things. One man spam, one man ban. Welcome to the internet. <laughs> we'll teach you some manners, don't worry. Don't you worry. Here we go. Uh, yeah, man. Watch this. Tankless. Buy a chore pan. I'm making pizza rolls. Uh, we're going to do... Oh, look at the new skin. I should buy the new skin. I should buy the new skin. I don't know why I don't have it already. Got him. All right. Okay. Do I have... Let's see. Skins. Unlock. I don't have enough. I need 33 chests. That's all right. Because I have 100. Whatever. Let's just go maxed out. Let's get it. Skins. VIP. Okay. Give me that health. Give me that health. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool skin. Absolutely the coolest skin that Astaroth has. By far the coolest skin that Astaroth has. Well, we got a weird team here. That's a trap. Um, Dante Sparta. We're not going to mess with him. Let's see who else we can deal with here. Wildstar. We'll take out Wildstar. So the plan for Wildstar is going to be... Park Blender. And Oliver, maybe? Hmm. Let's see what we can do. So is there a new chart for Chaba? Not yet, Bot Life. Not yet. That's how you beat Kira. That's how you beat Kira with Kark. Bring out the Kark Blender. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we did this, we did that, we did this, we did that. We fought the minions. Oh, we gotta collect the mail. Collect. Don't do any of that. We need to join. We need to join an adventure. Uh, I'm a day off. That's weird. Um, so Isaac is at 60k, close enough. Um, I guess let's do Artemis. Let's keep working on Artemis. Skins, we've already leveled up a skin. Glyphs. Um, armor penetration. Yeah, we'll do that. Gift the elements. We'll do that. Artifacts. Let's see what artifacts we can level up here. We can do that one. Oh, I haven't even done. Oh, my gosh. I've been busy. The boys are home for fall break this week. All week long. So I've been trying to... I've been trying to get some stuff... Oh, by the way, guys. We, we, should, actually, we should actually talk about this. I, uh... Um, Thursday and Friday, obviously Thanksgiving and the day after Thanksgiving Friday, I might live stream if we get back in time, but it looks like obviously Thursday, we're going to be out of town. We're going to be eating dinner. So no live stream on Thursdays, no live stream on Thursdays, uh, stick acts on mobile. Where does Elmer's armor penetration stat have diminishing returns? Stig, this is a very tough question. Actually, it's a very tough question because I, I don't think there's a definitive number. If you, if you looked at it from the, from the perspective of max stats you can go take a look at the max stats page on my uh on my uh, on my website 
and kind of see where he lands regarding other tanks. He's a single target damage dealer that always targets the tank. So you need to make sure he has higher armor penetration with the stats, uh, with, I'm sorry, with his artifact than enemy tanks do with their artifact, right? If we're dealing with maxed out stuff. So if, if we're not dealing with maxed out stuff, then the answer is kind of impossible to, to state because you just need to have more armor penetration than the enemy has tank. Or, I'm sorry, than the enemy tank has armor. How are my heroes so strong given their current promotion stats? I don't know what you mean. You, they should be higher color rank? Is that what you mean? Why Sebastian Old doesn't get rid of Foxfire Marks? Is this a bug? Uh, Monta, that's a very good question. Sebastian's ultimate only removes stuns and curses. Uh, Satori's debuff is a mark. It's a mark. Like a watermark. It's a Foxfire Mark. It's specifically different. Okay, so we got to keep working on Artemis. Artemis, Artemis, Artemis. Actually, let's work on Thea. No, let's work on Artemis. Still not enough. All right. That's good. We're just asking to see if you can put a pause on investing in AP on armor and work on updating other skills. Yeah, Stig, you're gonna have to be mindful. What what you're gonna want to do, like, what I what I would suggest is go into arena, right? Go into arena, find a team that's comparable to yours. So Periot Four here is six hundred sixty thousand power level, and my team is a six hundred twenty k. Now, obviously, you're talking about. You know, you're talking about different teams and different platforms all together. But what you want to look at is going up against this enemy Astroth. How well does your Elmir fare against that Astroth, right? If you're dealing with a Ziri, that's a high armor, high health target. If you're dealing with a Rufus, that's a low armor, high health target. So you can kind of take a look at the different tanks that you're going to go up against and try to gauge how well your Elmir is doing in the damage dealing department. If, you, if you're seeing that most of his damage... Is being blocked and you can tell how much damage is being blocked by looking at the hero if you look at the hero's stats right my physical attack is 68,000 on Kark so every basic attack for Kark will do 68,185 damage adjusted by armor and then adjusted again by armor penetration so you can kind of take that and go into a fight you know again uh, Galahad is a bad example because he's got high stats also. But you can go into this. You know, he's he's got he's got Astroth has got decently high health, but it's not as high as some of the other tanks. So you can attack this guy and see what happens. See what happens. Now, what I love about this is this team is going to be hard countered by Isaac. So we're going to do Isaac. Let's do. I'm tempted to do Sebastian in here as well, but the critical hit issue will be a problem. Let's just use Martha. And if it wasn't for Celeste, I would drop Astaroth also. What's up, everyone? What's up, Yiping? Black Friday already started? Mm -hmm. On Facebook and web, it did. Man, look at that skin, guys. Look at his polearm, his scythe, compared to the uh, the Lunar Festival skin. That, that Lunar Festival skin was my favorite. Now it's garbage. It's hot garbage. <laughs> uh, Raw Oyster, he's talking about Hero Wars Mobile. Sebastian on Hero Wars Mobile is a different hero. Got him. Let's just keep digging, guys. Do you want to just keep digging? Let's see how low we can get in Arena. Sebastian on Hero Wars Mobile only blocks stuns and curses. Yeah. The wings, though, bro. Yeah, the wings are amazing. I like his mask. I like his little floaty cyber halo. Man, he's just... I, I tell you what, though. That Cornelius... That Cornelius staff is pretty freaking sick also. Look at that staff. How metal is that staff? It looks like he's holding a guitar backwards almost. I think it's metal. Man, this Elmir. This Elmir skin. Oh my gosh. 
Such a cool skin also. All right, let's keep digging. 24, 44. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same team. Same team. We're actually going to swap this to Merlin, and we're going to put Axel right there. Will the new Astroth skin on Facebook and web be unavailable after the event? No, Bot Life, it will be available forever. Now that it's in game, it will be available forever. Let's see how we do. Ooh, that Orion lived. He's about to drop some hammers on me. Martha is just keeping people alive. Oh, man, I died. I thought I had a chance there. I thought I was going to get close. Actually, ah, didn't have enough juice. Okay, 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 okay. I want to fight some more. I want to fight some more. I thought I was going to be able to beat that team. There's some tough teams on this server, though. 900k power level. Whew. Only winner skins have limited. Bert says, Charlie, what do you think of the auto pet defaults for various heroes to select them? I, I think they're good. I think they're nice. I think they're helpful. People forget to add pets all the time. I'm real tempted to drop Astaroth, but that Celeste is just going to chew me up if I do. Huh. Come on, Sebastian. Yeah, Sebastian is up. Give me that magic damage. I need to start seeing some damage from Kai. Big big hit coming right here. We got Kai and... Oh, Sebastian. Oh, man. Oh, man. Just not quite enough damage. And this has been Kark's problem at the super high levels. Even on mobile. Or especially on mobile, I should say. No, oh, no. Yeah. Not good enough. Not good enough. What is that team? What is what team? Team I just do out there? Just for fun. Charlie, do you know if there's a hero who had a dodge bonus to everyone on the team? Uh, there's a couple heroes with dodge artifacts. Aurora's, Aurora's one of them. All right. So let's go back to... Our main setup here. My Isaac is so high because I've got his artifacts really high. I've got his artifacts really high. Jimmy Thomas, thank you so much for stopping by. We're going to wrap up here in a little bit also. Whew. Everybody just died right there. <laughs> All at once. All right, guys. Now, let's go check. Actually, let's go check and see if I can do my Guild Wars yet. The bridge is down. All right. The bridge is down. Let's do some Guild Wars. And then we'll wrap it up. So remember, guys. If you're watching yesterday, you know how I'm going to beat this team. I'm going to beat this team so easy by timing my totem against their enemy totem. And they do have a fire... No, that's not a fire totem. Excuse me. They do have a water totem. Eh, I really wish that I had not dropped Sigurd there, but that's okay. We're going to lose this fight. We're going to lose this fight. The 
bounce that boulder right back in Eden's face. Man, it's not enough. I'm so close. Dang. So close. <laughs> and now you're going to get bland, uh, banned from the channel, man. You're going to get banned from the channel now. Just like that, you're done. See ya. I mean, my totem got messed up there. There we go. Okay. Lost one Titan fight, won the other. It is what it is. It is what it is. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, good live stream today. There is no boycott. Let's uh, no boycott yet. I should say. Uh, live stream tomorrow is at 12 p.m. Central Time. Um, 5 p.m. UTC. No live stream on Thursday because of the Thanksgiving holiday. I'm going to be spending it with friends and family. Thank you all for joining. Good live stream today. Really good. Didn't quite get to 100 likes, but that's all right. I'm guessing there's no Galasad Hammer logo on the... On the on the uh, big band hammer. I mean, if you wore a hammer, I would use it. <laughs> I'm starving. I'm going to go get some calories. Very excited about getting some lunch. Uh, I love you all. Good luck in Dominion. <laughs>